Do you have respect for the electorate to be intelligent, mature and thoughtful? I've always found the electorate to be uh, thoughtful and mature and um, they're always right. I think the attitude as a politician you have got to take to elections and the electorate is ultimately the electorate is always right. And um, whatever political parties have done, I think, over the years, um, they've got it right as well, actually. So there's no point in arguing with them. You listen to them, you respect them, and you do your best to serve them. That's my attitude towards the electorate. Okay. Are you willing to tell them the truth as you see it? I am. I do tell them the truth. Sometimes there are hard truths on, on some issues. Uh, you, you know, when you're elected to Parliament, you're not elected just to be a kind of cushion, you know, f showing the, uh, the uh, kind of imprint of the last person that sat on you. You're there because people have put trust in you, they've put faith in you, and they trust your judgment to make decisions. It's important that you listen to your electorate, that you read their letters, their correspondence, their emails, that you respond to them. But sometimes there are really difficult choices to make and ultimately you're there to do a job and you're trusted to do that job. War in Iraq was one such example. I had to weigh everything up and decide what to do. Um, my own conscience and personally I decided going into war with Iraq was the wrong thing to do. I voted against the government, my own party. But I know that there were people with a, with a fair argument that was different to mine and they have a rationale for that as well but you have the responsibility of making choices and then you've got to explain yourself and that's what politics is about not everybody will agree with you in life but i think the important thing is to explain where you're coming from so would you tell a voter the truth even if it might cost you their vote yes i do tell voters the truth even if it might cost uh, their vote. The easiest thing to do is just to make bland and empty promises. That's part of the reason why I think this is a really important election because um, you hear David Cameron and the Tories saying change, 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 without actually explaining what the change means. So I think it's absolutely crucial in this election to talk not just about the vision or the feel of of an election, but actually to describe your policies and the difference that they that these policies are going to make.